Okay, well, I'll try to get fired up for this here because it's pretty easy, actually. It's My name is Reed Skull. I'm an associate dean in the outreach school at the University of Wyoming. And I, I just want to mention uh, again that this conference that, that we're joining in today uh, evol involves a very great partnership with the L. Bogan Center for Teaching and Learning, um, also includes the UW Libraries, and I'm most proud to say it includes Laramie County Community College. And I think uh, this conference is a great example of collaboration between K-12 universities and uh, the community colleges in our state. So there's a lot of with with collaboration and you'll be able to see that as you attend the conference but the reason i'm here actually is uh i get the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker today um, she plays an important role with the tennessee board of regents she's won numerous awards such as the prestigious wcet wow award uh, Google that and you'll learn a lot about exciting technologies and the Apple Distinguished Educator Award. It would take me a long time to accurately and completely list all the awards and degrees and titles that our speaker has. But I, I've had the pleasure of informally talking with and attending numerous presentations with our guest speaker. And I know that even more important than her titles and her awards, is the person she is and the ideas she promotes. Um, she is an educator to her core, having begun her distinguished career as a special education teacher in Detroit. And to this day, she makes a point of teaching a course regularly so that she can learn more about students and more about her craft. She's a provocateur who I guarantee will make you think deeply about the possibilities and the implications of mobile devices, many of which we already have in our pockets, on our wrists, and yes, even over our eyes. She is Dr. Robbie Melton, and I ask you all to give her a warm Wyoming welcome. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Robbie Melton, and I have a miracle to share with you all and a blessing to me. I travel all over the world on behalf of education, and my title, Associate Vice Chancellor of Tennessee Board of Regents, ladies and gentlemen and educators in this audience, if you would please just look this way. I had the pleasure of an instructor to say, can you come to my classroom and teach my class? Now you all have been to workshops, you have heard presenters, but they made me put my words right there in the classroom. I have three or two and a half of the students who I presented to yesterday, and educators, everyone. I invited them and they are here. That's a miracle. <laughs> Not that they're here, that I said something to motivate them that they wanted to learn more. So as I start this presentation, life is good for Robbie because I have met my goal because they know what's coming in terms of technology. Now it's your turn. So let me give you a little housekeeping. Please know I come to you all with an open heart. I'm passionate about this. I started teaching when I was 12 years old. Why? Because I was tall and <laughs> they couldn't find a substitute. So I was the tallest and they put me in a second grade class and forgot to come and get me after eight weeks. That is a true story. 
So again, I love teaching and it's a blessing. I'm going to come all the way to the back, all the way over there because I got some technology for you. I have a PowerPoint that I will not get through. So what? You're here to learn. And I'm tech down. Everyone, I'm tech from the earrings. I got tech shoes on. I got tech clothes on. This is your role in this workshop. If I start to turn pink, pink is the color. Call 911, because that's not a color I should be turning, because I'm down. But what you're going to learn, I have all these tools. I have some tools that many of you will go, I don't believe it. And because we are now so tech savvy, some of you, as I'm speaking, will pull out your phone or your device and start Googling, just to make sure I'm on market. And some of you will then go, I need to talk to her. How did the Tennessee, Tennessee, Davy Crockett, work with me here, you all, know, come on. <laughs> yes, we have a strategic plan on how to use all of these devices. I have devices, I have three tables. And had they put me on a jet, I would have had more. See, you didn't catch that. Those over there didn't even catch it. I have to bring all of this technology in. Had they put me on a jet, so you know how I arrived. Come on, you live here, okay? I'm from Nashville, I was in shock, okay? So, work with me, and I only have 40 minutes. Someone will have to do a hand wave because I'm going to rock and roll. So, let me start off with our strategic plan of our mobilization for the Tennessee Board of Regents. Some of you will remember something called a video strip, okay, where you had to thread it. And it took almost a master's degree to keep it from falling on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you are as old as Robbie. Wake up. I made that whole presentation on my phone. And some of you should be going, oh my gosh, not Robbie. Oh yes. So again, we have all of these wonderful tools and some of them are at no cost. Yes, I'm able to say that. So to start this presentation, after you finish your wonderful lunch, please take out your mobile device. You have to. If you don't have one, trust me, I have enough up here. And I'm going to do an assessment. I'm going to walk around and all you have to do is just put your phone or tablet on the table and I'm going to come and just check to see where you are with technology. <laughs> and if you think that you're going to be embarrassed, please don't because ladies and gentlemen, I have everything. <laughs> all right? So if you have a bad phone, uh, you remember these? I can teach you with this. So again, if you would just take those mobile devices out and leave them there, 
And again, due to time, I'm gonna give you the rundown of all of your technology hitting your school. And by the way, I'm addressing not just higher ed, but workforce development and K through 12. So again, I have everything up here from a Samsung. Who can remember this one right here? Uh-huh, yes, yeah, still works. And I need my community colleges, colleagues. Where are my community colleges? All right, you'll love this one on behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents. And we have a strategic plan for mobilization. Why is it that we all have mobile devices? Look at that table. Look around, look at your table. But we do not have one program for computer or mobile repair. Where are my community colleges? Do you have a program to fix cracked phones? Because everyone in here, trust me, will have a cracked phone. So this is how we enter into mobilization. We are proactive, reactive, and if we need to create new programs, because we know the emerging technology is coming, we are here and ready to go. With that, I have your Windows phone. I have your iPhone 5S with keyboard and 3D. Okay, did you all hear me in the back? 3D up here. Not only, and Apple doesn't know it. And some of you did not stand in the line. I did, 4.30 in the morning. To get what? iPhone 6. One hand. iPhone 6 Plus. Two hands. And you read today, they're having problems. Look at me. That's why I'm out here. I called in some of the problems because our students are coming with these. And if they're coming, we have to be prepared. So with that to say, here's your Samsung. Here, your, I don't know. And all right, everybody, are you ready? Name this phone. Oh, you can't because it's a printer. <laughs> yeah. And here's the little printing coming out of it. Bluetooth right out of your mobile device. And what do I have in my hand? Same size or smaller? Who can name this? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a computer. It's called Raspberry Pi. You plug in a monitor and a keyboard, and this is a motherboard. Excuse me. Some of you, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, in my one hand, I have a computer. I'm still paying for my gateway. <laughs> Here it is. And the cost. This should be the price is right. What's the cost of this? Who said that? See me afterwards, I have something for you. Again, this is $35, so when we say all students should have a computer, trust me, if they have a cell phone, they have it. All that to say, I'm going to go very quickly through this presentation, and we're gonna rock and roll. Now again, with technology, things will work, things won't work, we don't care, life is good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of those students with disabilities, my job is to go forward and beyond as stock in Star Trek. I have two keyboards. I have your new Surface Pro 3. Ah, ooh. Mm -hmm. First of all, if this falls on the floor, I'm happy. I'm happy. Why? I'm an educator. These are going into the classroom, and they're going to fall on the floor. Better to fall, and I cry on one, versus ordering a thousand, and they don't last for six months. However, on behalf of a, a accessibility, anyone heard of a Kindle? Kindle, generation one and two, 
did not meet ADA compliance? No, not at all. Surface, here's the surface. This keyboard does not meet ADA requirements. So what do we do? We call Microsoft and we say, guess what? Doesn't meet and you have new keyboards. If not, you can't purchase. So all that to say, I have some game changers. Looking for some water. And there is an app for that. <laughs> Very quickly, I have your Kindle. Distance Ed people, wave your hand. Anybody in Distance Ed? Anybody heard of Distance Ed? E-learning. Here is your new Kindle. I love this machine. Not for the machine, but for the young lady that comes on your machine that when you don't know what to do, she comes on, she talks to you, she calls you by name, she takes over your device and will fix your problem. We worry about retention, you need to go and get that lady. Let her be in all the machines. <laughs> this is to show you they have that technology. And just so you know, that hasn't hit market yet, I have in my hand right here your first 3D tablet without glasses where the little alligator will come out to you and bite you. <laughs> right here, coming in, and I love this part. I have some game changers here. Anybody ever heard of a company called Walmart? <laughs> in my job, I have to evaluate all technology. I have a device here. And again, I work for the Tennessee Board of Regents. I don't promote products, I evaluate. We evaluated this tablet, 10.1, Jelly Bean, 4.2.2. Even have a micro USB and HDML. And it comes with the case. And top notch. You ready? Walmart. Price. $99. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have machines up there for two and $3,000. My point to all of this very quickly, the technology is here. It's affordable. I have a $35 computer. I have a $99 tablet. Now I need to talk to you all about teaching. Oh my gosh. I'm going to run through very quickly. I'm going to run from table to table, and you're going to see what you have in front of you called a smartphone, and half of us are playing Candy Crush. Okay? <laughs> so for time, I'm going to go ahead and click through. And again, some things will work, some things will not. And I'm going to move all through here. We all have them. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you research. I'm a researcher. People walk with these things, talk with these things, mate with these things, sleep with these things. And if you dare to leave this room right now without your mobile device, you will turn right back around and come and get it. It is our livelihood. So knowing all of that, I'm gonna go back one more. I'm here to share with you, this is what I want you to walk away with today. I only have right now five minutes to keep you engaged. If not, 86% of you will go under the table. <laughs> and you're so good now, you don't even have to look down. You can just go ahead and send out emails, social network, whatever. And you see that's the typical classroom behavior and faculty professional development. So all that to say, three things that you will learn, and that's how to text without looking, how, how to stay awake, on and on. So you see, we know. We track all of this technology using the um, Gardner hype schedule, and I'm gonna go right through. This is to let you know Look, 
only 2005, you had one lonely person with a phone <laughs> at an event. Look at that. 2013, you have one lonely person without a cell phone. Okay? So with that, when people say to me, and I get this from educators, not from any other group. I speak all over. I hear I'm too old for this. One more time. I'm too old. The Pope. The Pope is using a mobile device. Now, we're talking old here. Okay? No disrespect. But if the Pope can now think, wow, this could really help us? Well, they went, and this is why I'm here. If I don't get through anything else, ladies and gentlemen, they looked at mobilization to help solve some problems. So what did they solve? Confession. Some of you have not been to a confession. Some of you have not been to a confession. Now you can use your phone as a confession booth. Now, some of you are sitting there going, I don't believe that what she just said. Well, it's true. On behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regions and various systems across the nation and world, we test things out. I was able to confess. I'm, where's my instructional designer? You talking about a well-designed app? I was able to identify all my sins. They matched them up. They had a heart. I mean, all jokes aside, you talking about taking a tool and now they have a rosary and afterwards you need to take a look at it. Moving on, this would give you a whole view of how we use mobilization. She's pregnant. Yes, I have apps for the Tommy. <laughs> And you should be saying, well, should we? We're educators. Because you know what we have done? Someone acts up, and the parent will take out of purse or pocket this, and they give it to the child. We don't even know what's on there. It's not age appropriate. You don't throw these in a crib. However, we do know this. <laughs> These are our coming students. They're tech down. Not only that, this is so inappropriate. And I love this slide. Because who's sharing with the world age appropriate content and devices for these children? So moving on because of time, I want to share with you even Sesame Street has Mobile yes, app. my friends, the iPogo can do anything. Anything? Oh, yeah. If you want to comb your cat, no, there's, there's an, an app, app for that. that. If you have to fix a flat, there's an app for that. Listen to the terminology. Need a word that rhymes with that. <laughs> or a place to hang your hat. Got a chimp who likes to chat. <laughs> Home movie. These are twins, not my twins. They gave them an iPad, something about a banana song from preschool. Ladies and gentlemen, educators, they're in diapers. They're in diapers. Look at them. Look at the little fingers. Hello, friends. Look at the problem solving. They're time. looking for the banana song. Hey, everyone. It's lunchtime. Time to eat. <laughs> Look at the collaboration. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tool called a tablet or mobile device. And if it's the iPad, you got it and it didn't even have directions. First time in our life of getting something and we're like, where's the directions? And none. And we have babies in diapers. So to move on, they're going to find it and jump around as babies would do. I want to share with you the research very quickly of how we use our devices. And only 1%, but that's how we use them across the nation. Help me, help me. Look, all of you, and you, you know you play Candy Crush. You know that. 
how can matching three colors, <laughs> think about it, three colors, a billion dollar business. And we're still worrying about, you know, academic subjects. We all stuck back down in preschool on matching colors. So with all that saying, we're here to share with you on behalf of Tennessee Board of Regents, this is your classroom. There you are, trying your best. And there they are on everything you can name. We have solutions, everyone. We have solutions. And again, I'm going to go through this because I got to get over to those tables. We're going to lead and learn um, all of that good stuff. We are BYOD. What does that stand for? Bring your own device? No. My job is BYON. I worry about when you bring your own nothing. Okay? <laughs> again, we have to engage all of these students. I'm going to click through this because I have some fantastic information. Once upon a time in yesteryears, there was something called a bookmobile. Oh, some of you shaking your head. It was a truck. It was a truck with 100 books. And you would stand out there waiting and waiting on your book that everyone else in the world wanted. And again, they even had a boat mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't learn anything else today, you have on your table a device that you can download 1.8 free million books. We're educators. We should be giving everybody high fives, hot dog. We have books now. Because remember, we didn't have books a while ago. And all of us have devices. And we have the ability to bring down 1.8 free million books just from that free app. So at this point, you should be ready to do something. If nothing else, download the app. It's free. And it goes on all devices. So with that saying, I'm going to go through because I have something I want you to see. Brand new, the Samsung Turbo 3000 Xi Multitask, a mobile phone with many functions, such as a complete dishwashing function, save loads of money on the purchase of a dishwasher, and there is more. With the built-in printer, the Samsung Turbo can make professional copies of both documents and photographs. Inflating the tires of your bicycle becomes child's play. You simply remove the antenna and place the phone on the valve. In less than six seconds, your tire will be completely inflated. In places where heating is not sufficient, you can heat up an entire room with the patented heating function. The Samsung Turbo 3000 is a full-fledged air dryer, as well as a full-fledged razor. And as if that's not enough, you can use it as a wireless battery. Mm -hmm. Wait till you leave here, because you're going to see some amazing technology. When I grow up, I'll be the hero of my storybook. I'll start at zero and rise and fall and rise and fall again. When I grow up, the sun will be We got multiple me. calls, guys. Let's go. Let's roll. I practice every move. So inspired. When I grow up, I'll be good and strong. I'll create a world where I belong. When I grow up, Ladies and gentlemen, I have over a hundred ways you can use your phone. Oh! I'm not going to show you 100, but my point to all of this, if we're going to use these mobile devices on behalf of education, you must have the tool. These are your professional drumsticks for your mobile tablet. 
We have a bow for the violin. I have professional pick. I have, if you're going to use these devices on behalf of my colleagues, educators, we have to have the right tools. And again, this is not to take the place of what we call hands-on learning. This is a whole new world of tools. You will never hear me say teaching. So with that, since I'm over here, why not share with you what I have? Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the medical profession, somebody in here has high blood pressure. I have a tool that will save lives. Story time. Once upon a time, my husband, who looks at all of this as just junk and gadgets, and oh my gosh, here's come another box to our house, <laughs> said, you know, I have a headache. And I knew he had high blood pressure. And I said, honey, we're testing these out on behalf of our community colleges and universities. And all of this is documented. So I put it on him and it registered 150 over 190. If you know anything about going into a stroke, and here it is, you don't even have to hook it up. And you know what he said? I told you it was junk. And I said, you're dying. Ladies and gentlemen, you have devices and tools out there for those phones and educators are clueless. On behalf of all of us, my job is to go out there, find these educational tools, and to test them out, to come back to you all to say, I got some game changers here. I have game changers right here. How many can tell me right now how many eggs you have in your refrigerator? Well, if you had IA carton, you would know. I'll take that home. Okay, all right. Now everyone, you have to look at my face because I get these things. And I go, who, who would want to know? Well, everyone, this is why you all are here. We're educators. What's the possibility? Okay, yeah, you know how many eggs you have, fine. But we call these companies up and we say, hey, if you can share with us how many eggs you have, can you share with us how old the eggs are? And many of these companies have no clue why. We're educators. We want to know. We want to know about E. coli. We want to know about STEM and how this can be used. And I'm pleased to share with you now, you can, because we have to be active. And what else do I have? How many of you like to plant things? You all don't plant in Wyoming? <laughs> Well, maybe you should plant, because if you do, I have, I plant. What's I plant? You put this in the ground, and on your mobile device, it will let you know what's going on down in the ground. And again, we said, is this a gimmick, or is this just junk or real? And I'm here to share with you on behalf of Ag, who tested this out, they came back okay. I'm gonna give you some junk, but it's cool junk. They come out with all of these things. And what is this? This is your new infrared keyboard. And what will it do? Wherever you go, you can have a keyboard. You can have a keyboard on your arm. You can have a keyboard on the floor. And this is your infrared. I don't wanna blind anyone, so I'll put it right here. And it's junk. <laughs> On behalf of the Tennessee Border Region, we were purchasing a lot of junk to the tune of over a million dollars. We can't afford that. So we have a plan. So when someone comes up to us and says, we got a new tool called a touchless toilet. You don't even touch, you just hold your hands over. We have to make sure that all of these items meet safety, security, 
This is your new wink that's coming out where your whole home is all connected. And of course, how many educators does it take to screw on a light bulb? I don't know, because here's your new smart light bulb. It screws itself, okay? <laughs> and you use your mobile device. Workforce development. See, we're not having any alcohol, but had we had alcohol here. I know this is a public institution, but let's say it's not, and you're all out here, and you're drinking. Get that mobile phone out. Why? Because you blow into this device on your phone. I'm, see how drunk you are. Here it is right here. Look at me. Does it work? Well, it must work because one of your car companies, one of the big three, has purchased this company whereby when you get into your car and you put your hands on that steering wheel, smart steering wheel, and start to breathe, it will measure your blood alcohol level and the car will not start. Thank God in heaven. And you all should be going to, oh my God. And what do I have here? This is the first device that you put on your phone and it will detect gases, temperature, right there. Some of you should say, what? Yes. And because of time, I'm moving on very quickly. Let's go to that table. Over on the other table, I'll get there one day. But while I'm going there, why not go to another slide? And in terms of mobile transformation, fine. How about this one? Here we go, because I'm going over to the other table. With this miniature transmitter. All right. Come in, Chief Quimby. Yes. What time is it? 829. Thank you. It's all right. This is 86 reporting into control. How's it going? I have an emergency situation. Relay the information to headquarters. Enterprise. Order of the ship's computer library records. Jason, can you read me? I read you. This is Secret Agent Rock Slag. Okay, partner, let's make a little spectacle of ourselves. Anything particular in mind? The atomic punch! There's only one man who can get us out of here in time. I'll be down right away. I'm on my way. We're on our way. I'm on my way. We're on our way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on my way. The watches are here. What you need to know, they've been here. On my hand right here is a 100% phone, watch, camcorder, heart whatever, name it. I've had it for three years, three years. And it works right now. You can come up afterwards and I can take your photo and send it to YouTube. <laughs> Here's the phone. You will see no markings. This is a full computer, everyone. It's a full phone, a computer. I can Google. I can take my online class with this. Cost coming in under $100. Hasn't hit market, was going to hit market, purchased out by one of the big tech companies. No more. Ladies and gentlemen, I have up there the Fire Phone. Did you hear about the Fire Phone in Wyoming? No? Yes? Well, it only hit for what? Four weeks ago, cost $799. What will it do? All 3D. How much is it now? $99. Now, 99 cents. That didn't bother you all? Okay, one more time. Four weeks ago, $799. Today, 99 cents. We can't get caught up in all this technology. You must have a strategic plan. So do the time. Everyone, here we go. Number one, name this device. Speakers. I'm from the 60s. We had speakers this tall. Now I have speakers on my key ring. Number two, high tech, low tech, best speakers. They're rubber. You don't even have to plug them in. And guess what? They work just as well. All of your styluses. And I love this, projectors. Put all these projectors. Your projectors will now come where you can use your phone to project whatever's on your phone. And here we go right here. 
and that's right off your phone. And of course, we have your Dale, and we have this one that has worked out well. And you see how it's in my hand, and it's easy because it has an on and off button, and all I have to do is find it, and I will project over here without blinding anyone. Right there, coming off all mobile devices. You should be asking me about the cost. You're not, so you mustn't. You must can use. You must have money over here. Um, cost of that one right now is only ninety nine dollars. Here's your Elmo. Remember the Elmo? Mm hmm. Elmo, document camera, big time. Video. How much? Sixty dollars. This is a no brainer. We purchase one for every campus. We purchase now up to maybe 3,000, test it out for a year, not one problem. Due to time, I'm hurrying up. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see in a few minutes as I go through where I transform that thing that you're playing with Candy Crush into the most powerful tools ever for education. This goes on the phone iPad, look at these lenses. Now I'm gonna run up front because I'm gonna rock and roll because I know we all are on time, but I'm not going anywhere. So here you go. Let me share with you what now you can do. And by the way, on behalf of those with disabilities, these are your keyboard for the blind. So moving on, Blackberry's back. In the back, Blackberry's back. How long they'll be, I don't know, but they're back with their new phone. And this is what you can do with your phone. I doctor, yes. All of your tools, stethoscope. This is a free app. Wherever I travel, ladies and gentlemen, I tap on that app. Why? Because wherever I am, it will let me know of all of the contagious diseases around me in a 50 mile radius. That might not thrill you. <laughs> it thrills Robbie. Why? One thing it will pick up, bed bugs. Flu. Think of all of the contagious diseases, and this one is free. Think of your nursing program, your STEM programs, and how they can use this type of technology, and it's right there on your mobile phone. All that to say, some of you are wearing glasses, some of you have contacts, some of us need to go to the eye doctor. You know how they put that little thing and it just turns those little wheels? Over. You would be doing that with your phone. You will be able to put your phone up to your eye, do all of that, and send the information to your doctor. He'll go, okay. And then they send that information right to the glasses maker. And then, bam, they come to your house. This is the technology coming in. And you want an ultrasound? With your phone. $7,950, does it work? And the answer is yes. Also, in Africa right now, they're using this phone to diagnose eye diseases. Right here. And some of us are still stuck on level 200 on Candy Crush. <laughs> All that to say, hearing aid. We now have the technology that you can turn your cell phone into a professional hearing aid with ReSound. Think of the classroom, ladies and gentlemen. You all should be going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right there on that phone. So as I go through with apps, and I know we're coming to time, because I got tattoos. When you go to the doctor, you want to get a tattoo. Why? Because that tattoo is what we call a bio stamp. It will send information to the doctor, record you on and on, and here's where we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 
you have the ability with those phones where you hold out your hand and you are able to screen for the first screening of skin cancer. You all should, in here should be going, oh my gosh. You mean Candy Crush phone? Yes, <laughs> Candy Crush phone. So as we move on from the medical, I have to share this with you. 3D printing. I'm Dr. Benasser, and my lab makes ears. Okay, ears. The invention that we've uh, discovered is a way to uh, print living cells in a material uh, that can uh, be used to reconstruct tissues in the body. My laboratory is interested in regenerating cartilage wherever it's found in the body. The process starts with a scan of an ear. We sit someone down you can in, get a, the in a chair from and we have a camera that spins around their head and takes a 3D image of their, of their head. Then can very precisely map out the topology of the ear. The next kind of key step is developing the ink for this printer. Mobile this ink 3D is actually a living ink. It contains living cells. It's alive when we put it into the printer. It's alive when it comes out of the printer. The real power of the printing technique is that it can be used to make geometries that you just can't make with any other technique. You can make parts with this holes is in them. Today, we can layer not in and, the future. and cover and, and put different uh, cells next to each other to create really the complex organs that make up our bodies. And after two months in an incubator, the tissue fills in and looks white, just like real cartilage. The implants that we're making um, are not rubber or, or plastic. Um, they are alive. They, they uh, grow inside the body or out. And this has a whole host of advantages over, over conventional technology. The body accepts these materials like it's part of the body because it is. Our long-term goals are to change the way that, that uh, clinicians practice, to give them the next generation of implants that will be uh, more successful, more like real tissue that will last in the body for, for decades. Okay, everybody look at each other. This is a miracle. Never in my lifetime did I ever think I would have a phone or mobile devices that would transform medicine. So what about education? With that, I'm going through a workforce. By the way, I couldn't bring this. <laughs> It's dangerous. It has electricity. I, I, yes, my cell phone turns into a stun gun, can take you down. And I'm saying, who would sell this? Where's the label on it? This is dangerous. And my job also is to keep law enforcement up to date. I find many things. We had to take an app off the market called Get Me a Woman. Why? Because someone was able to go to Facebook and take information if you were young, under 30, whatever, and align it with Google Maps to take them right to your house. We have to teach our students about safety online and devices like Yellow Jacket Stun Gun. With that, we have new technology. This is where we move to the future. We have smart water. Look at your table. Make sure you're not drinking your what? Smart water. And this is now. On behalf of law um, enforcement, I will play just a little to put identification on your These devices, worldwide are beginning to smart recognize water. smart water as one of the most powerful crime fighting tools they have ever come across. Whether they specialize in stealing copper cable from your utility company or valuables from your home and business, they know that taking on smart water is a mistake they won't make a second time. It works. Smart water, a unique forensic marking theft deterrent containing the owner's exclusive formula, only detected under UV light and virtually impossible to remove. So again, you have smart water, you have winks, and look at that, I'm not gonna even play this. How about you can build a house in 24 hours with 3D printing? Yes, and that's a reality. And you have 4D printing coming in, and yes, your eye exam, and you will have, even for the blind, a cane that is smart, 
And again, your hearing aid, your tools, but I must play this one for you. This is your new computers coming in. Remember your gateway computer? your holodex and your 3d coming in and yes ladies and gentlemen you'll be able to sniff your phones over on that table I have it you want some bacon you want to sniff some bacon I got it put that baby right on that phone and you can sniff all day if you want to right now there's 250 cents now educators Think back when we kept saying we need sensory. The technology is catching up because just like I have right now over there where you can sniff, well, guess what? You will be able to touch hot and cold on these screens. And yes, you'll be able to eat your cell phone. <laughs> In the back, would you like dessert? We can hand you a cell phone. So again, this is the one. I want you all to look at it. Remember this, a student created this. Facebook purchased that company for $1 billion. You can't even get your hands on it. I have it. This is a game changer. You have to bring me back in like 3005 that's a joke joke come on you all got come on educated work with me okay because with this device oculus rift it's a whole new world it's star trek in the holodeck where you are there no avatar no you you are right there in the learning environment so with that i have leap motion here i have google glasses and I'm pleased to share with you, the University of Wyoming is the only university that I have been to, and I've been to the Big Penn State, Michigan and on, that people had Google Glasses. It's unbelievable. Educators, you're talking about wearing that gateway computer over your eye. And people are going, well, I don't see the need. That's because we have to shape this. So let me share with you Google Glasses. This is firefighter Patrick Jackson, glassware developer. Okay, glass, show floor plan. He wants to give firefighters hands-free access to the information they need when they need it. So one day firefighters everywhere can work faster, safer, smarter. Okay, class, show extraction diagram, 2001 Ford Expedition. Cut right here. Because every moment on the front lines is a chance to keep pushing what glass can do. Okay, class. Take a picture of the food that I would like to eat. This is Patrick Jackson. 
and you see I'm able to take that photo with my eyes. We and ladies and gentlemen, this technology is unbelievable, but already outdated. What you're going to see very quickly is the next level of Google Glasses, and we're talking about contact lenses. Now, before you go, oh, no, no, I want you to go, oh, wow, wow, because this is what it can do. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of those people with diabetes, where they have to prick that finger, those days are coming to an end. <laughs> you'll be able to have contact lenses to read your blood sugar level so you don't have to prick that finger and they are testing this out now. Wearable technology, as we come to a close, let me ask you. How many of you consider yourself techies? <laughs> me neither. And how many of you know uh, about wearable technology? Yeah. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> so wearable technology is becoming a huge trend. You know, there's, there's a Google Glasses, you've heard about them. They're the glasses that they put the internet right in your face so you can literally Google the weather while you're walking into a tree. And <laughs> they have these Nike uh, fuel bands that they're bracelets and they tell you how many steps that you've taken. And uh, there are these smart watches. They're so much better than the stupid watches. And <laughs> the, point, the point I'm making is this stuff is, is taken off like crazy. And I want to get on board with the trend. And uh, so I took a ton of my own money, like $43. And <laughs> I invented some wearable technology of my own. And I'd like to show you what it is right now. All right, so first we have Amy right here. <laughs> like she's just wearing a regular old fanny pack that your older aunt might wear at Disneyland. But it's not just a regular fanny pack. Look at this. It's toast. That's what it is. Oh, sure, you can keep almonds in your purse as a snack, or you can make piping hot toast on your hip. You tell me what's better. And Amy's headband. You see this headband? It's not a headband. It's butter. <laughs> Mmm, yummy. That's great. Ladies and gentlemen. Kids love a good bedtime story, and now they'll love it even more. Choose a story from their PJs. Capture the code. I have smart PJs. And that's it. We don't just go to sleep. It's simple, and it's fun for us. We everyone. have smart PJs. Now your child will be excited to go to bed. Smart PJs, let's share a story together. You wave your mobile device, it'll sing a little lullaby song, it will read stories. Educators, look at me. I want some teaching clothes. Let me have some clothes where I walk down the hall and you wave over me and some math problems jump out at you, okay? <laughs> Give me some little English over here. Uh, how about some history? We have all this technology. I want students to go down the hallway, and as they go by, you, you know, education jump out at them. But we have smart PJs. We got to shape this. So as I conclude, no, they do not make adult smart PJs. <laughs> That's been the number one question. Oh, I like that. I uh, know. I have just a couple of more things, and I'm done. From smart PJs, smart clothing. You ever drop something on your clothes? Spaghetti on a white shirt? What do you do? You go to the cleaners. Not if you had smart clothing. If you had smart clothing, you talk to your clothes and you say clean and then start cleaning yourself up. <laughs> all of that's coming. You all had lunch today. Well, no one bothered to come over here and ask me about what smart fork. Smart fork. Oh, everybody's going, wow, what? What's smart fork? Well, for 
$99, it'll let you know if you're eating too fast. For $99, I'll touch you, and I'll let you know you're eating too fast. Well, we call this company up, and this is how I conclude to all of this. I'm like, come on, for $99, you can't do better than that? You should be able to share with me what I'm putting in my mouth. Yes. Well, guess what? As I come through here, you have smart chopsticks coming that will do that. And not only that, and this is where I run through very quickly in three minutes. Smart fork, smart bow. Well, I also have for you, I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, Every time I travel, I am blessed to meet someone out of the blue. I was on my way to Penn State, met this young man, professor, and I told him about some new technology that I have right over there called IEYE -E Tribe. What will it do? Everybody look at my eyes. You operate your computer with your eyeballs. And I told him, I don't know if it worked. I'm old. He said, I have energy. I'm young. Let me try it. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of an educator that took it out of my hand and overnight, meet TK. Hi, my name is TK Lee. Robbie Milton lent me the iTribe, this little device. I'm going to play some music with this. After some practice, I finally got it to kind of under control. Here it goes. He's using eye movement to operate the computer. The cost of that device, which is right over on that table, is only $99. You all should be amazed that you have the tools to do this. So as I prepare you, I want to conclude that, yes, you have a smart bit and you'll have all of your smart stuff, and you'll have a smart tooth. Yes, you will have a smart tooth. So as you put M&Ms in your mouth or whatever, it will send a little message to whoever, Robbie's eating M&Ms, okay? <laughs> and you have a smart toothbrush, and the light bulb gets smarter, we have that over there, and you're gonna have a virtual dressing mirror, and you're gonna have the eye plant. Oh, I got this basketball. I don't even play basketball. The ball talks to me. It's like, come on, Robbie, move up, stand up, hit. And they're using it in the pros right now. A student created this. Educators, I don't live in Wyoming. I live on planet Earth. And if we don't start having these students to create a student kept hearing about all these concussions, playing football. He created a smart helmet where out on the field, if a student is hit, it instantly register to the doctor, to everyone right there, a student. I want to conclude, oh, I forgot, smart fishing. <laughs> Take your little lure, throw it in. You want to get your phone out and I'll let you know if the little fishy things are around. <laughs> Smart shoes, yes, I got on sensor shoes. When you see me again, I'll have on my Google Smart Shoes. So like Dorothy, I click three times, I go home, okay? <laughs> Eyelashes, I'll be able to wink at you and turn you on, because there will be smart eyelashes. Robots, and I end on this note, and by the way, I have collected over 70,000 apps, all devices from pre-K all the way to careers, and I have a database free, and I just keep uploading. I end on this note. There is an end to this, and here it is coming up. And this is my ending, I say no more. Emma. Oh, mm -hmm.
Emma. 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 On behalf of the staff, especially Jeff and Ree and Meg and Christy, Cody and the whole crew, they had to put up with me for the last couple of days of moaning and groaning. You know, not really. It was a pleasure to come to Wyoming to share with you, but more so to work with the students that I will be sending resources. I thank Michael, the instructor, from my heart because I was able to go into that classroom and use some new technology called Nearpod, where as an instructor, I walk in, I have my device, and I say to you all, take out your device of choice. I don't care if it's a watch, an Android, a Blackberry, a Uberry, whatever, and I am able to share my screen to you instantly, and now I'm able to keep you on task with your mobile devices. I thank you all very much.